Hi, here's a disclaimer. I love Instagram. I love being on the platform. I love Facebook, but Instagram is really fun. And when, as a marketer, when I realized that you can actually use Facebook Ads Manager to advertise on Instagram, it was like this big haha moment. So I will share with you how to advertise on Instagram easily with the Facebook Ads Manager platform. And something to consider, this is um, our Facebook business page. You wanna go into your settings and I like to kind of get this organized before even trying to tackle Facebook Ads Manager. So you go into Instagram, so settings and then at the bottom, now these features tend to move all the time, but if you go at the bottom here, and you see um, our Instagram account is linked. This is where it would say link Instagram account. You have to enter your login and password, Instagram login and password. And it's going to link your Facebook business page to your Instagram business account. Um, if you're not sure how to get there, I'll put a note in the comments how to switch to a, a business account. And also there's an Instagram module where I go in depth into all this. But first things first, link your business page to your Instagram business account. Then we go back into our friend Matt Ads Manager and we click on create. So we want to create um, a traffic ad. So we want to send people to our Instagram account. Um, I mean, we want to send people to our website from Instagram. So I'm gonna put, I like naming, so we're in Facebook Ads Manager and I like naming when I do something specific to Instagram, I like to put IG so I know it's specific to Instagram and it's not running on Facebook at the same time. So I'm gonna put um, IG, I don't know, maybe a bootcamp promo, traffic. And I cut and paste this. Here we skip this part to keep it simple. I add my ad set name and yes, I want to drive traffic to my website because remember you don't own social media, right? But you own your website. So for us, it's good to send them to our website where they can find out more on our um, bootcamp and how to register, for example. Um, okay, we're going to use the save audience. If you want more information on audience, watch the video on uh, post engagement. I'm going to say Kiss Media, see Whistler Bootcamp. That's a good one. So we have an upcoming one and here I have my audience. I entered the location and the interest of my people. And then it's at the placement level. So we chose our objective and then we're down to placement. So at the placement level, you click edit placement and this is where you have an option to choose Instagram. So for this, I'm gonna remove everything else but Instagram. Now you can run an ad both on Facebook and Instagram, but this is what tends to happen in my opinion for what I've witnessed. If I run one ad on Facebook and Instagram at the same time, it, the algorithm seems to pull the budget where it starts tracking first. So if people start engaging first on Facebook, it seems like Instagram fall flat dead in my results when I look at the reports. And if I, if it goes, if it's an image that's doing great on Instagram, it seems like I see zero engagement on Facebook. So I'm more and more now trying to keep um, things separate. So I run ads specifically for Instagram and ads specifically for Facebook. Now I can run the same ad, except I run two campaigns, one for Facebook, one for Instagram, and then I see which gives me the best results. And then I can stop one and put uh, more money on the, the top performing ad. Something to think about. So I'm gonna click Instagram. Do I want it in Instagram and Instagram stories? I know that the images that I have on my page right now are um, more square, so I'll keep it to Instagram and um, to Instagram feeds. But, or we can try it. Actually, we'll see what it looks like at the design format. Okay, my budget, what's our magic number? I, we say, you know what, I'm gonna put a daily budget of $2 a day and then, um, why not? So when is our bootcamp? Our new bootcamp is gonna be November uh, 20th, so that's good. So I have this, okay, link clicks, and then I press continue. And here we go. <clears throat> 
Now, this is really exciting. Because I have a traffic ad, see all my options, I can do a carousel, I can do a single image, a single video, a slideshow, a collection, and so on. And instant experience is really fun, but that's really an advanced technique, so we're not gonna look into it, and it's, it glitches all the time at the moment, October 2018. So what I'm gonna do, I can use free stock images, I can use an existing post. And to keep things simple, I'm going to choose use an existing post. And if you want to see how to use all the features of creating an ad within Ads Manager, simply go into the video that talks about um, traffic and link click ads. Okay, so I see here there's an Instagram account that is linked to my page. Then I click select a post. And which image would be a good one for Instagram? Well, for example... this one here so I can say okay this is an image I want for Instagram Instagram is not as fussy as Facebook for the 20% text rule so we will see what they're gonna say what's my URL so I'm gonna create a button and my button is gonna be I like to be book now or learn more so I'm gonna say learn more and then what is the website link we're going to use? Let's go into our website and click the URL for bootcamp. So you go to your website and click where you want to send people to. And so this is our bootcamp page. Here's my URL. Thank you, Internet, for loading this fast for me. Okay. So that, we're going to see how this is going to unfold because, oh, see, that's not bad. This is my Instagram feed. So this is what it's going to look like on Instagram. And there's going to be a learn more button. Now, this is really exciting because you cannot put a link into your Instagram captions. But if you do an ad for as low as a dollar a day, all of a sudden you have this learn more button where people can click directly to your website. And I want to show you something else. See if I create here, see how here there's the Instagram icon so you can decide to advertise posts that you have on Instagram. See I see my this, I see my Facebook post and my Instagram post so you can go fetch whichever one you want. And then I am going to Look what it looks like on Instagram Stories because Instagram Stories is more of a vertical format. See how interesting this is. So what Instagram, what Facebook Ads Manager did is it took a part of my text and then it added here. So we can say, okay, well, if you're okay with the look, it took the text from my, my post, um, the, the caption of my post, and then it put it straight, see here? These are the first two lines. So this is what happens with Instagram story. It puts you more and then people can learn more and then be directed um, to your website. So it's pretty cool for an Instagram story. And you could create a whole bunch of ads specifically for Instagram stories as well. If you go into your, uh, your placement tab, you can go here and then you can go directly and just choose Instagram story and just create ads that would be solely created for Instagram stories where you would have to keep in mind if you click, click uh, media requirements it's going to show you the aspect ratio that you need to I'll put that in our notes as well right so I'm going to leave it for Instagram feed and Instagram stories I check my budget and my schedule I'm okay with that and then I have my identity I know it's my page and my Instagram account my creative and that's it oh see now it says they're not liking that there's too much text in the image normally it goes by because it is an Instagram ad and they're more fussy with Facebook but if you wanted to be on the safe side you could almost always choose a post that um, is one photo and then you know that for sure Instagram is gonna like it and Facebook so this is what this would look like and this is what my Instagram story would look like so see it's nice because it fetches some of the green and to keep it a bit um, 
in tone kind of thing with my ad. So that's it, you have your button, you click confirm, and then you will see uh, the Instagram ad is gonna start running. And something to keep in mind, what if you wanna see the results of those ads? Well, now you see that it's for sure uh, an Instagram one because we wrote it here and we know, but what about this one? So are we sure that it's Instagram or Facebook or we don't remember if we've put it on Facebook and Instagram or just one or the other? So this is the secret weapon and I'm going to talk about that in reporting as well. But you want to break down at the ads level. So you have campaign, ad set and ads. You go by delivery and then you choose platform. Say that again. Okay. You have account overview, campaigns, ads, ad set. So I have my campaign. I know I want to check this one. I go into my ad set. I go into my ads. And then in my columns, I go breakdown by delivery and by platform. I'm repeating this twice because nowhere, it's so hard to find this information. And then I finally found it and I was so excited. So there we go. I'm just going to show you. Of course. See? Here it shows me Facebook and Instagram results. So you have Facebook and then Instagram. So whatever ad that you're running on Instagram as well, you're going to have your Facebook and Instagram results. You can also choose an ad and then go into preview. And in the preview mode, it's going to show you um, you can see the post, you can see post what it looks like like that. So that's it. Running an Instagram, an ad on Instagram with Ads Manager, it's the way to go. If you want to click within the Instagram on your phone, just the promote uh, button, it's okay, but really you have access to Ads Manager and it's not that hard to figure it out and you have access to so many more features that really it's worth to take the extra step, build your audiences properly and get your artwork all lined up. You can use Canva, canva.com. They have on the app version, so the version on your phone, you can create beautiful Instagram stories layout that I think it's 16 by nine, the size. And um, you could do really great, great, great promotion. And you can run this for a dollar a day. Why not, right? So if you have any questions, make sure to post them in the comment field. And we are here to help you. And you can visit keepitsimplesocialmedia.com for more tips and resources. Thank you so much.